flipping a house. Do it. You'll make money. It'll be easy. And it's fun, so they say. So I bought a home from the sheriff's sale over in St. Joe County. There's a place in Walkerton, Indiana. I knew it was going up on auction. I thought, hmm, I think if I get it for the right price, this will be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, well, I bought it, and I won. I won the auction. It was, it was actually a really cool, fun experience. And then I got the place. So, really? It doesn't look that bad, right? You look at it from here, got this enormous uh, antenna. I don't know who uses that stuff anymore. The look at the lot. The lot is really big. Uh, that's John Glenn High School, actually, right? Next, John Glenn High School, right across the street from it. And great big lot. Got some trees we're going to get rid of. But what I want to get to is look at the roof of the garage. Woo! All right. That's a, that's a project and one of our first projects because we want to store our material in there. So that'll be one of our first product projects. There is some really good quality here. We're going, we're going to move, remove these trees. We're going to trim up that nice maple there. This dead one here looks like an uh, ash died. This pine tree is going to go. This is going to break my heart. I'm not going to lie because I'm a nerd and I love nature and I love trees and I love woodworking. And I look at this giant not giant, I guess. A big old pine tree. It's got to come down. It's got to come down. Because it's too dang close to the house. Those roots, if they're not already causing problems for that basement, it's going to. Yeah, did you see what came here? Did you see what came with it? Look at this. Who wouldn't want a skull, huh? I think that's of a cow. I think. Well, I am not a skull expert. All right, so the siding is, is vinyl. We're going to replace it. The roof, we're going to re-shingle it, re-everything. I'll strip it down. This porch, we're going to make a new deck coming around. We're going to get rid of this door. The deck's going to wrap around. At least that's the plan for now. Every window gets replaced. Every door gets replaced. What isn't going to get replaced around here? Uh, the grass. The grass is going to stay. Past that, I, <laughs> I don't know of anything we're going to keep on this place. It is a disaster. Wait till we get inside. So you can see the beautiful condition of that roof. So the whole plan is to take all this electric. That's going to go, we're going to trench it, get it underground. So this wire hanging uh, oddly, inconveniently, maybe dangerously low, get that in the ground. We're going to get rid of this big antenna. <laughs> this network, sorry, not going to keep you. And the door, do you love the back door right now? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, did you see inside? Hey, anyway, there's our, there's a our side door here. I think we're going to replace it with a real door. Get rid of those trees. That backyard is going to be amazing. So here we go, inside. Here's the mud room. Yeah, so this is the kind of place we end up getting. And I said we. I think you're going to come across my partner in crime's name's Jeff Burdick. Burdick. I told him the name, his name in Latin is Burdickius. And this guy's pretty witty because it took him like one second. He says, well, that must mean my first name is Maximus. <laughs> I don't want to know. Anyway, so here's our, our mud room. Uh, yep, it is. If you want to know, previous owners smoked Marlboro. Heh, <laughs> that's safe. I think, I think we're going to try to move the laundry in here, I think. Everything's really undecided, but you ready to come inside? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Should have seen we got this place the other day. Uh, Jeff, Sheriff Sale, they don't give you keys. You have to break into your new house. And Jeff crawled through the window. And right here, and this is a huge hornet's nest that was right there. That he actually opened up, moved this uh, foam, styrofoam, and then there it was. Luckily, there were no bees. Otherwise, that would have been hilarious. I did get it on my phone camera. We'll see if I can put a glyph in here. But Mr. Burdick, that's Burdickius for you. Maximus. Yeah. We're gonna get her all cleaned up, baby. <laughs> That's step one. Step one. Alright, so here's the kitchen. Yep. Amazing situation here. Q tips. It looks like old mac and cheese. I, I it's amazing the stuff that was left behind. There was so much stuff. Some cinnamon toast crunch. Um, I don't know what three inch or ten and a quarter is, but uh I think this is a one hundred percent gut job. Every single thing in here is going to go. 
Bathroom? Yeah. What do you make? Here's the bathroom. That's really nice. There's a toilet seat. And uh, are you grossed out like me? Toilet paper dispenser. That's really cute. Come here. Who wants it? 20 bucks. Toilet paper? Here's what we're kind of excited about. Hardwood floors. Are they salvageable? We don't know. Why the couch is up this way? Don't know that either. Good news. Former owners were Notre Dame fans. Keep a look out because we got spider webs every single where you look. You like them. You love your spiders. Yeah, we're right here, all over the place. Yeah, uh, look beautiful, beautiful. This chimney we want to knock out. Not sure how we're gonna do it yet, but we want to get rid of it. Here's bedroom one. I'm gonna call it one. I don't know if it's one or two. It's dark. I know. I get my phone going on here. Uh, obvious leak and problem with the roof there. There's spiderwebs all over the place. I'd walk in here a little bit more. Trash all over. You can tell. You analyze this. That's how this is where someone slept. This house is clearly left in its condition. Every wall, ceiling, it's all gonna go. Here's the other called bedroom two. Yeah, not really attractive here either. Nice big closet space. Nice big closet space. I don't know if we'll keep the closet like that or if we'll shrink it or get rid of it, but that's a nice big closet space. The bedroom's actually nice at size. Other one's a little bit smaller, but it does have a closet as well, a, a big closet space. Again, living room. Jeff and I have been going back and forth a little bit already. Like, there's the kitchen, here's the living room. If it was five foot wide or all around, it'd be really impressive, but it, it's small. You know, do we knock this breakfast bar out or do we keep it? It's, it's, we, we haven't decided yet. What we do know is that when it's done, it's going to be amazing. Right here, look like couch cushions. Going upstairs. You hear me just step on a random stuff. All over. Come on up here. Here we go. More beautiful. It's beautifulness. Yeah. So this is what we got here. We are debating in our head too how to do this but what we really want to do this roof you can get a good look at that this that's on a ooh, rough totally destroyed roof i think my guess is we'll find that the trusses need to be replaced maybe we'll get lucky and they don't maybe but either way even if they don't i think we're gonna get rid of them because we want to extend the house on the second floor here out there and add some more square footage so right now it's hard to call this a bedroom Let's head down to the dungeon. Some people would call it a basement, but it's a dungeon. Hmm, here we go. Nice mop, good place for it. Hmm, these are a little sketchy. The stairs are. Need some light, dude. Uh, they left so much stuff behind. Do they call these hoarders? I don't know if it's hoarders. Or if it's just uh, people who were not very clean with their stuff. Because I don't see, I haven't seen evidence of like collectings, because things being collected. So I don't think I want to call them hoarders. But this is a, I don't know what you want to call it, a, a nook, a, but there's stuff just loaded in there. We were looking around in there, poking our head back in there. There's stuff everywhere. So much stuff. Like I said, I don't want to call it hoarders or just not very clean people. There's the old furnace. I'm actually, Jeff and I are both pleasantly surprised with the basement because we don't see any issues of water, water damage. At least not yet. We clean it up. We might find it, I guess. An electric box, 100 amp. And there's that furnace. Uh, is it salvageable? I don't know. That's not, that's going to get replaced. There's a nice sock. 
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my second flip. Put links. Got a couple videos for my first flip. This one was Jeff. We're pretty excited. We're pretty pumped, believe it or not. But it's time I mask up, and it's time to get busy.